Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Rattle Essence. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Really do appreciate your time and your viewership. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at one of the most recent releases by the company Michael Malul. And this one is called 593 Bali. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin my fragrance review of 593 Bali by Michael Malul, and I tell you all about this fragrance, if it reminds me of anything, how long it lasts, how it smells, so on and so forth, I do wanna mention that if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, if you like fragrance reviews here on YouTube, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxings, and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you gotta do is click on that red button down below. And of course, if you can give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm, it would really mean a lot to me. And so I've actually done a review of a few other fragrances from the Katorit line, like Spice, Santorini, Blue, Black Tie. This one is actually marketed for women, and so this one is called Bali. I think it's marketed for women. I personally find it to be totally unisex. When you take a look at a lot of the notes that it contains, it has the sandalwood, it has cardamom, elemi resin, bergamot, jasmine, lily, orris. So you actually have three floral ingredients in there. I'm gonna be leaving a coupon code down below in the description section as well. If you do plan on picking this one up from the official website, by using that coupon code, it guarantees you that you will find it for the most inexpensive price and the biggest discount that you could find online. I'm very excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance and the way that it smells. Let's start things off with the presentation. So right in the opening of this fragrance, you will pick up on this spicy sandalwood note. Now, sandalwood has a very distinct smell. Sometimes it can be a little bit on the spicy side, but of course it can also be very smooth, sweet, silky, and creamy as well, with almost like musky touches. And so I'm getting the former variety from this fragrance. I really don't get anything sweet from this scent. And I was looking at the note breakdown and Elemi resin is possibly the only resin that could kind of give it a sweet smell, but I'm not getting anything too sweet from this one. If anything, it's more floral and spicy. So Elemi resin is found in fragrances like Beloved for Men by Amouage, as well as many others. I'm not gonna get into the list right now, but I don't get too much of that happening in here, but I do get the sandalwood. So I get the sandalwood. It almost has like this peppery quality in here. And of course, when I looked at the note breakdown, the spice that's actually in here is cardamom. So cardamom can kind of come across smelling a little bit green. It has a very distinct aroma and I am surely getting a lot of cardamom from this fragrance. But I think the thing that's really opening up this composition and making it a little bit more floral is the orris. And I'm going to go as far as saying that the orris in here is stronger than the jasmine and the lily combined. Now, of course, orris root, orris butter, iris, iris flower, whatever you want to call it, they can kind of give off a bit of like a lipstick vibe. So a lipstick slash cosmetic bag vibe. That's not what I'm getting from this fragrance. It actually doesn't smell lipsticky. It has a little bit of a starchy quality, and yes, it does possess a floral tonality, but it never veers in the direction of lipsticky, which might be a good thing for you, might be a bad thing for you, depending on the types of fragrances that you're into. Now, as far as this one is concerned, I really like that floral accent because the sandalwood note that's in here is a sandalwood that I've smelled before. Uh, fragrances like Le Labo or Le Labo, I should say, Santal 33, also Sun Saint by Pinrose, and many other fragrances. I don't need to get into the list of, you know, Santal 33 inspirations or fragrances that remind me of Santal 33, but I really admire this fragrance's ability to have a little bit of that floral tonality, thus driving it in a different direction, while also having these spicy nuances in the opening, like the cardamom that really set it apart from Santal 33. Now, truth be told, if I had to make a comparison 
two Santel 33 and I had to put a percentage on it, I would say that this one is like 65% similar to Santel 33. So there is enough of a deviation to create a level of uniqueness in this fragrance. And of course, with the perfumer who worked on this fragrance, uh, I really don't need to get too much in detail as of his resume and all of the amazing things that he's done. Now with this fragrance, I actually had my wife smell it uh, about a week and a half ago when I acquired it. And I said, what do you think of this fragrance? It's the new Michael Malul fragrance. It's called Bali. And right away she says, it kind of reminds me of my Santal 33. And she loves Santal 33, one of her favorite fragrances. And then she also happened to say to me, please leave this one upstairs. So where I'm actually right now, I'm in my basement. And so this is where I keep all of my fragrances. But she said, please keep this one upstairs because I want to wear it. And so she's really a fan of this one. I'm a fan of this one. I think it's a solid offering from Michael Malul. And it's also going in a direction that they haven't explored yet. And so awesome scent. Thank you for watching. Let's finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, I surely find this to be a unique scent, despite the fact that I mentioned it's about 65% similar to Santal 33. This one is a bit spicier and it's a little bit more floral as well. And so if that sounds interesting to you, definitely see if you can sample this one. I always recommend that people go out there, sample fragrances, get their nose on it and see how it works for you your skin and your personal preferences. Longevity on this one is about eight hours. The projection is great for the first hour and a half of application. I don't think it ever radiated beyond an arm's length, but it's pretty consistent. So it didn't actually start to sit closer to the skin until about that six and a half hour mark, which is really great. In terms of the versatility, I think this one can be worn all year round. I think with Santal 33, it's the type of fragrance that I like to wear in the autumn and in the winter time, mostly the autumn, but because of the floral notes that are in here, especially that orris root, I can definitely see this one being worn when it's hot outside. And I think the bergamot contributes to that as well. So more versatile than Santal 33. Although I think Santal 33 will give you a few more hours of longevity. This one is a bit more accessible, a bit more unisex and a bit more versatile. In my opinion, I can see anybody of any age enjoying this one. And like I said, it's unisex. And in terms of the presentation, I do like the gold hardware and I do like the color of the label and the box and the name itself too. I've never been to Indonesia, but if I ever have the opportunity to visit Bali, I know I have a good friend who went there on his honeymoon. He had the time of his life. I would love to visit one day. So my final verdict on this fragrance is if you are looking for a slightly fresher and more floral take on Santal 33 with a little bit of spice, I would definitely recommend that you go out there and you check out Bali, 593 Bali by Michael Maluel, part of the Katorit line. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate your viewership. If you took something of value from this video, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. And of course, if you can give this video a thumbs up, it would really mean a lot to me and it would help tremendously in the way of the YouTube algorithm. Once again, I'm gonna leave all of the links and information down below if you're interested in discovering this fragrance further. And there's also gonna be a coupon code down below so that you can get the best discount possible on this fragrance at the moment. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. We'll see you next time. Bye.